Hello everyone and welcome to another game I played on PTCGO. This time I'm going to be playing with a Moltres, a Moltres Chandelure deck. Um, got this idea from a subscriber, uh, C. Mangarero. Um, he's uh, suggested decks before in the past, well, one to be exact. Um, and I'm trying this out. I've played quite a few games with it. It's not very competitive at all because of the fire type being weak to water and water being super popular right now and also it's just a really funky energy acceleration to deal with Moltres sure fire helps from Chandelure but you really want to have the plasma energy to be able uh, to do more damage uh, with Moltres if it has a plasma energy attached to it its second attack for two fire and two colorless energy will do 120 if you don't it only does 80 so if you don't don't run plasma energy on with this deck you really can't do more than 80 damage um, I've also attacked an Entei as you can see and my opponent's taking quite a bit to start that's why I'm talking about this right now um, but I'm running essentially a 3-3 line of Litwick and Chandelure along with some Moltres an Entei and some Deoxys just to uh, boost the uh, uh, damage output for Moltres. So my opponent is still stagnant and I'm just zooming in on Entei. So I'm deciding to start off with it in the active spot and see what my opponent's doing. Um, I thought this might be a little bit competitive against Genesect of Arisian, but it doesn't seem to be just because it's a lot slower. You can attack turn one um, if you get a coal rest machine and a fire energy on a Moltres, but even then that will only do 60 damage uh, unless you have more Deoxys on the bench. So I'm going to bench that Litwick and see what my opponent's playing. He has been taking quite a bit just to start and it looks like uh, I'm going to open. So it's a heat more. So I'm playing another fire deck which is probably one of the better matchups just because their weakness won't be an issue although I do run Plasma f uh, Frigate I believe to sort of counter that I think that's the stadium card I'm going to Team Plasma Ball for a Moltres a Chorus Machine for a pr uh, Plasma Energy just to get it on to my Moltres and then just end my turn so Entei's in the active with a Fire Energy um, undoubtedly my opponent will get a fire energy so the point of his deck is just to run four heat more abuse its second attack which for three energies will discard the top four energy in your deck a fire elix it's called and for each one of those that it happens to be a fire energy you do 50 damage so I'm zooming in just so you guys can see so this plays really well with stuff like ether and you essentially run a deck that's primarily energy you run very few supporters, if any, and those are usually uh, Skylas. And if you run an item card, it might be a level ball or an ultra ball, just to get more heat more in play. So my opponent's going to attach one fire energy to his active heat more. Uh, he will probably use his first attack, which is essentially a catcher, and then it burns whatever it brings in. So right now, that would probably be Litwick, since it has no energy attached to it. But first he's going to Skyla. Um, here if he gets an Aether and hits another Fire Energy, he can uh, get two energy attached in one turn. And if he has another Aether in hand, he can actually um, attack potentially for the knockout on turn one. Which is pretty amazing, although Quad Heat more really suffers if the game goes on long. Just because it's the, the type of deck that just needs to come out and hit quickly. Uh, for heavy damage because if you have to rely on actually getting all of four of your heat mores in play uh, it sometimes doesn't happen and you end up getting knocked out just because you have no more uh, a po uh, Pokemon on the field so my opponent did end up getting an ether and he's taking very long might have been better off speeding up this video so I'm not sure what he's doing he's probably going to play that ether right now so I do have a Chandelure in, in hand. If I can get a Rare Candy, I will evolve that and I will use its Pokemon Power, which allows you to search your deck for a Fire Energy, place it on, or attach it to one of your Pokemon and do 10 damage to that Pokemon. 
so it sort of works um, similarly to MBOR except MBOR accelerates from the hand but um, and does no damage so those are the two big fire accelerators in the format right now so my opponent's going to level ball for another heat more which is very important to just have more in play undoubtedly he'll play it right now so the alternative to playing this deck would be to play it with Ambor if you guys wanted to as an alternative so my opponent does just what I mentioned earlier he plays two ethers in one turn so he's gonna be able to discard the top four cards of his deck and they're all fire energy so he manages to hit me for 200 in the knockout on turn one so that's pretty amazing um, fortunately it did take him a very long time to perform that turn but nonetheless um, that was cool so I get a rare candy so I'm gonna be able to use uh, Chandler's ability and flare navigate attach one energy to Moltres and do it does 10 damage to me I will use its first attack which does 30 and flips if it's a head it discards an energy, so I get a heads, and I'm going to discard a fire energy off of Heatmore, but he of course has more in hand, and he hits me for 150. Um, one of the cards he discarded was not a fire energy, so I'm just short of the knockout. I'm going to attach that prism onto Moltres, but then I decide that that's a bad move. I need to prepare um, my Chandelure to attack, just because Moltres will get knocked out, and my opponent will take four prizes. And I'm going to Flare Navigate onto on Chandelure, get it ready to attack. And I'm going to hit with Destructive Flame again. If I get a heads, uh, it does prevent my opponent from attaching to his benched and preparing um, his next attacker. But he will Skyla going into his turn, and he's going to get an Aether. So he's going to attach to one of his benched heat mores, and that will be certainly be annoying he will be able to get that prepped and he hits me for 150 in the knockout so he's able to discard three fire energies so now I'm going to bench a Moltres that I just managed to top deck I will flare navigate onto Chandelure do 10 damage to, to it and use its attack absorb life so you probably attack an attack you're never going to see play um, but it manages to do 70 and heal 30 so it kind of works well with its own ability since you are damaging yourself by attaching and then you can just heal it back off so now my opponent is going to promote heat more he's going to use its first attack and lure out Moltres and burn it and I do take damage from that burn I'm going to use flare navigate to attach to uh, Moltres just so I can have the energy on it to retreat I'm really dead drawing actually no it looks like I leave it in the active since he can't really attack because he's used um, four ethers I think at this point but I, I'm in desperate need of a supporter he's going to attach fire energies onto his benched heat more and now I'm going to do that I'm going to attach to Moltres and I think retreat since I, re I really can't do much and if I leave it up there my opponent can take two prizes and the win. So I'm going to promote Chandelure and use Absorb Life for 70. And my opponent uses his first attack again. He's going to burn me, inching me closer and closer to the knockout. So here I'm debating whether or not to catch her. Decide against it since uh, he can just take the win easier or more easily if I do that. So I'm going to instead retreat again, pay that energy down. I'm down to 80 hit, uh, hit points on my Moltres and I will use Flare Navigate again to get another fire energy onto Moltres I'm still not drawing any supporters and it looks like I'm once again debating that catcher and I guess I decide to go for it so I will absorb life for 70 leaving both of his uh, heat mores quite heavily damaged I think they both might be 30 away from the knockout so that means Moltres will be able to take them he fortunately for me only manages to discard two fire energy in that turn and hit me for a hundred so I survive the turn and I will be able to um, do 70 damage for the knockout but first I'm going to 
useful or navigate to attach another fire energy onto my Moltres, and then I will hit him for the knockout. So at this point he has a commanding prize lead, but he only has one attacker left, and he needs to take out two Pokemon, essentially, for the win. He takes out Chandelure, but here I guess I don't realize it, I actually have the win, so I can just use Destructive Flame for 30, and that's all the HP he has left, and I will be able to take the win that way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, like I said, Moltres is probably best run with only energy acceleration from Chorus Machine if you guys really want to incorporate that in a deck. Thanks.